Magritte's Marvelous Hat by D.B. Johnson. One bright day in the dark of night, the painter Magritte saw a marvelous hat in a store window. When he tried it on, the hat popped up and floated just above his head. Oh my, said the hat maker. Perfect, said Magritte. He liked how the hat didn't pinch his ears or muss his hair. It's going to blow away, the hat maker said. But the hat stayed with Magritte all the way home. Magritte was excited about his hat. He hurried up to his room and went straight to the picture he was working on. For the very first time, painting was easy. His brush danced and the color sang. Magritte painted his best picture ever. The next day, Magritte and his hat took a walk. The hat floated playfully above his head and everyone he passed giggled with surprise. All at once, without a breath of wind, the hat blew into a fountain. Flippity flying hat, laughed Magritte as he jumped in after it. For fun, the hat kept pretending to blow away and Magritte had to chase after it. He had to climb trees and jump over walls. And that afternoon, Magritte painted a picture even better than the one before. He began to paint day and night. Magritte forgot all the fun he had walking with his hat. He even forgot he had a hat until the moment it bounced along the ceiling, wanting to play. Hat, said Magritte. I can't paint when you're bouncing. Just be a hat and sit on my head. That was when the hat flew out the window. And all at once, the color splashed onto Magritte's face. And his brush unpainted the picture. I can't paint without my hat, Magritte cried out. Has anyone seen a hat flying by? He called to everyone on the street. Come out, come out, wherever you are, Magritte shouted. But the hat did not come to float above his head or do flips just for fun or pretend to blow away. Magritte sat down with a sigh. I miss my hat, he said. At last, Magritte had an idea. Would the hat come back if he played its favorite game? Magritte called to the hat. I bet you can't find me. Then he opened his umbrella, turned around, and walked home in the rain. The hat flew from its hiding place to look for Magritte. But the hat did not find him in the park. The hat looked for him in the trees, but there was no Magritte there. Magritte was at home when the hat sailed in through the window. I'm glad you found me, Magritte said. The hat glided once around the room and then did a surprising thing. It landed right on Magritte's head and floated him into the air. Perfect, said Magritte. Of course, the hat pinched his ears and, and mussed his hair, but Magritte's brush danced and the color sang once more. Painting was easy. This time, Magritte did not forget the hat. Every morning, they strolled down Avenue Louis together and pretended to blow away just for fun. And every afternoon, Magritte painted a new picture better than his best. <laughs>